In this video, we're gonna look at how much weight in mushrooms you can grow per square meter per week. Mushrooms are a very high value crop, fetching between $40 to $50 per kilo at farmers markets here in New Zealand. And you can grow a lot of mushrooms in a very small space. So stay tuned and you'll see just how much I can grow at my farm in a little over four square meters each week. Welcome to one of my fruiting rooms here at the Oaken Spore Farm. Firstly, I apologize for some of the humidity that you're gonna see wafting around. Um, the humidifier behind the camera is running, it turns off and on as needed. Now we're going to discuss kg of production per meter square of fruiting room. This is a really important metric because it's going to tell you how much mushrooms you can grow for the space you have allocated for fruiting. Fruiting is arguably the most important part of a mushroom farm. You need to have a good fruiting room to be able to produce good quality mushrooms and produce those mushrooms week after week to supply all your customers. There's a lot of design considerations uh, which go into uh, uh, creating a really good fruiting room. We're not gonna cover off a lot of those in this video. Uh, what we are going to cover off is um, how much mushrooms you can grow per square meter. Now there's a few differences between small rooms and large rooms, mainly that there's sort of benefits to having larger rooms. One thing is that the atmosphere in a larger room is easier to keep stable and keep humidified. Um, because we're sucking so much air through this room, our large rooms act as sort of a larger buffer, right? Where smaller rooms, um, temperature changes can fluctuate quickly, humidity changes can fluctuate quickly. So you have less of that in larger rooms. Cleaning is generally easier in a larger room like this. These racks are all on wheels. We can wheel them all out, and once all out, we can get in here with a pressure washer, uh, quickly spray it all down, scrub the floors, um, and once that's done, uh, yeah, just wheel everything back in. So cleaning's a breeze here um, in these rooms. It's somewhat easier to put a lot of blocks in larger rooms. With rooms like this, you've got more uh, space to move around, so we can move that whole rack around quite easily, slot them in and out down the centre here, and line the sides with mushrooms. Plus, if you have to physically unload each bag yourself and walk them into a fruiting room and then put each bag back in manually, it does take up quite a bit of time. So having them on our movable racks is easier. I'm trying to get that humidifier to turn off. It's just, it's like four or five degrees outside. So every time I open that door at the front there, all this cold air, it's really warm in here, but all this cold air comes in and it does play havoc with the room. Um, um, that humidifier starts running a bit more um, to try and compensate. Um, and the dew falls, it forms in the air as that cold air mixes with the warm air. Now larger rooms also take longer to fill with CO2, um, so you actually need less air, less air exchanges in larger rooms. Now how much can we grow per square metre you ask? Well I reckon a good place to start with is about 6.5 kilos per, per metre square, and the upper limit I think is around sort of 10 or 11 kilos um, per square meter in a given fruiting room. In this fruiting room here, we are actually doing 7.8 kilos per square meter right now. And we'll take you through that exactly. So you can see these two shelves down here. We've got shelf one and shelf two. Each one of these shelves uh, fits 50 blocks. So this is 100 blocks here. Now if I draw a line right where these shelves end and go back, this box we're in down here is 4.2 square meters. So I've got 100 blocks in 4.2 square meters. I have a three week cropping cycle. So one week to grow the first flush, two weeks to grow the second flush. After three weeks, we two, that's two flush, we take them out. So I have 100 spaces for bags. That's 33 bags we can get in each week um, to flush. 33, 33, 33 is basically 99 or 100. Um, and that's a three week cropping cycle for us. So that means in 4.2 meters, we're growing approximately 33 kilos of mushrooms a week. Why 33? Because we aim for one kilo off one bag, one kilo, one bag, and then we turf the bags out. We can get better yields if we grow them for longer, but we don't generally, we only generally two flush. So that's 33 kilos per week, continuously, in a 4.2 meter square area. And that works out to be about 7.8 kilos per week. Let's just pause it for a second there. I actually mean to say 7.8 kilos per meter square not 7.8 kilos per week. So a good starting point, as I said, is about that 6.5 kilos per meter square. If you really want to work it, you can crank it up. For instance, in this one here, we can actually slot other, other whole racks in between these ones, right? So we can actually add 50% more um, fruiting space. If we just move that rack there over the drain, See that there? And we've now got another whole rack, that's just your shorter rack, so it doesn't fit 100. But if we do that there, we can put um, another 50, sorry not 100, 50, we can put another 50 bags on that rack. So we've just added 50% more 
um, production capability to the same amount of room, but my room is quite long here, right? So if we were to put three shelves in each segment, three, three, three all the way back, and I needed to walk in and check these mushrooms down the end, good luck getting down there, right? Good luck walking down the sides to see your mushrooms. It becomes very impractical very quickly. Of course, it'll give you that sort of 11 kilos per square meter production mark. I mean, that is possible, but it's just unfeasible for us. Having to take all those shelves back out to get to the ones at the end is just a real nuisance. So that's generally why we don't do that. But that's showing you the capability that you can get these higher production quantities from the area you're growing in. Another way to increase production is, of course, um, um, intensify the amount of bags you have. These bags, you can see there's a big gap, right? There's a gap of about that far between shelves, which is kind of like empty space. Um, I have them in incubation like that so that filter patch is exposed and can breathe. But if you're so inclined, you could make each of these shelving segments shorter, and in doing so, put another whole row of bags on top, and then you'd, you'd be adding, I don't know, 20% production to each shelf. So that is a possibility. You've got to be careful that you leave enough room for these bags to breathe through the filter patches so they're not folded down tight. Um, and you don't want to, careful you don't overload some shelves like these, won't be able to take it, these would be overloaded. Also your door height, you've got to make sure your doors are easy to get in and out of um, with the bags you have. It always helps to go bigger for fruiting rooms than go smaller. You know, if you want 30 kilos of production a week, build a fruiting room that can suit 60 kilos of production a week. Because if you only build for 30 kilos a week and then you hit that 30 kilo, it's a stop, right? You can't grow anymore. You need to either intensify in that one room, which is more challenging, or you need to build another whole fruiting room. So when building a fruiting room from scratch, do build bigger, build bigger than you think you'll need. We've got a lot of space on the farm here. Next door is another whole fruiting room. We haven't even fired that up yet because we simply don't need to. Um, the intention for there is to be going shiitake next door. Um, the room works, we're simply missing a few things to get that shiitake production going. Namely, we're actually um, basically out of shelving in the country like this here, spe specifically the wheels. New Zealand's a very small country. Um, so sometimes it's hard to find the things you need. You either have to import them yourself, like what I generally do a lot, or buy locally. Um, we just try and buy locally for these shelving units, and we've been unable to get some for a couple of months now. So waiting on getting those so we can um, yeah, get the production going for our shiitake room next door. So now that you've got a good idea about the weight of mushrooms you can grow per square meter per week, we'll jump over to our sheet here, we'll throw those details in, and we'll see what um, results we can get from it. Um, up in the top left here, you'll see kg production per week to meters squared of fruiting room. That's at 7.8, which is what I use, but I recommend 6.5. So we set that to 6.5, which is a pretty att attainable target. Now what that changes is down here in the facility requirements section, down in the bottom right, down here, you'll see fruiting space in meters square. So that's telling us the fruiting space we need is 11.9 meters square. Now, that's enough to grow down here in our to up here in our totals. You'll see weight with wastage, 77.4 kgs a week. So if we're if we're fruiting at 6.5 kgs per square meter per week, and we need 77.4 kgs of production each week, we're going to need 11.9 square meters of fruiting space. Now there is one other parameter which can change this as well, and you might have already thought of that. What if our bags yield more than one kilo? If that's the case, up in here in the yield, now we covered the yield um, in a previous video, if you change the yield to let's say two kilos per bag, it actually changes the facility requirements of the fruiting space down here. So that's now gone down to six meters square. So it's basically half the fruiting space required if you double the yield. Um, I, I yield one kilo of mine, so I leave it at one. I mean, you can, if you want to set it higher, you can go for it, but you've got to make sure you can get those yields. So again, 6.5 kg is a good starting point. Um, let's say you're, let's say you're growing, uh, let's say you're, you can do 10 uh, kilos per meter square per week. You can throw in 10, and you can see down the facility requirements, and then changes it again to 7.7 .7 meters square. You need to grow 77.4 kgs. Um, and then if this is down, let's say you can only do, let's say three kilo per square meter, you'll see the facility requirements then predict you need a lot more, 25 square meters. So, so the kg production per week is important. 6.5 is a good starting point. Here I regularly do 7.8 thereabouts, even upwards of nine if I want to really pack that room out. 
But um, yeah, 6.5 for someone who's beginning or someone who's just starting. Um, if you can get that, you're doing well. This video is filmed as part of my course on how you can make six figures farming mushrooms. If you're interested in growing mushrooms as a side hustle, or as a complete business like me, head to the link in the top pinned comment or in the about section and check it out.